Good evening. Hey, I'm saying good evening. Hello, Veronica. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How was your weekend, people? In my case, was nice because um so on uh, saturday i wash my clothes but on sunday i spend time with my son excellent good and you teacher busy working yeah but i went out with some friends um okay yeah yeah yesterday I went out with some friends. Oh relax. Welcome, welcome. You had a free time teacher. It is hot now, but sorry, what do you say? Do John had a free time? Um no, I don't think so. Yeah, maybe on the weekend, but I'm gonna work tomorrow. Very early in the morning. I have to be at 4 a.m. at my job. Uh, so on Wednesday, I'm going to start working with Chidrock. 
I think I'm gonna I'm gonna work until Friday, I guess. Friday morning. Then I'm gonna relax for two days and then come back to work again. Yeah. <laughs> you are a busy teacher. I am very busy. I need money, that's why. <laughs> well, let's start. Okay, welcome. Today we have another uh, another topic. I'm going to ask you some questions before we start the class. Do you know the parts of the body? What parts of the body do you know? Yes, you all. Nose, face. Mm -hmm. Uh, hands, mm. hair. Okay. Uh huh. No mm. more. Uh, feet. Uh, creo que feet. Finger. Only. Finger says. Ah, finger. Yes. Finger. Okay. Thank Shoulder, you. Shoulder, neck. Okay. Um, yes, Veronica. Uh, neck. Elbow. Elbow, uh huh. What else? What else? Come on, continue participating. Yes, finger, finger, fingers, fingers. Okay, today we're gonna work. On, on a new unit. Okay. This is what we're going to talk about. Mm -hmm. Do you see my slide? Can yes. You see my screen? Okay. Thank you. These are, um, we can say, the most common parts of the body. We have a lot of parts in the body. Just in the hand, you can say a lot of things. Okay. And the names of the fingers, this part, this part. Yeah. Uh, this part here. So we can start naming a lot. Of, but we're going to work with the most common parts. So we have this one. In this hand, you have thumb. We call in this thumb. Yeah, this one is the thumb. Por eso hay un dicho que dice, hey, thumb, thumbs up. And uh, just to say good luck, thumbs up. Or uh, approval. Que estás aprobando algo, okay? That you like, it. okay? Thumb, hand. And you have the fingers, right? You have your fingers. Now, we have your back, shoulder, chest, and how do you say estomago? Stomach. Stomach. Stomach, yes, stomach. Stomach, okay. And here I have my head, I have my eye. Okay, aquí está en singular, I'm going to say in plural, eyes. I have my ears and I have my nose. In my mouth, this is my mouth. Um, one is a tooth and all the pieces are teeth. Mouth. No, mouth, tooth, one, and mm -hmm. all, all of them are teeth, teeth. 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 Okay, then we have the chin. This is your chin. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. Here is the throat. Mm -hmm. Throat. And at the back is the neck. Mm -hmm. All right. All of this is the neck. Yeah. Okay, now you have your wrist. Your arm. Your elbow. And the lower parts of the body we have your leg, your knee, your ankle. Okay, one is foot, 
both are feet. Mm -hmm. One is toe, and all of them are toes. Got it? A lot of mm -hmm. parts of the body. Esas son las más comunes, okay? The, we, we have uh, a lot of parts in our body. Okay. Aclaremos algo. Men, we have chest. Mm -hmm. But women have breast. Women don't have... Uh, They, they don't have chest. They have breast. Mm -hmm. Okay? Women Palm have espalda. breast. Back is espalda, yes. Preguntas, my friends? How does espalda uh, this? But, excuse me? The, how does espalda the woman have no chest? Ah, women have no chest. They have breast. Ya lo escribí aquí abajo. Palo es palo. I don't see them. I don't understand. I don't understand your point, Jose. Palo es palo. Es palo. Es palo. Ah, back. No, 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 no. I'm talking about... Uh, Ah, uh, uh, breast, breast is here in the in the in the in the in my stream. B, B R E A A. B R E A S T. Breast. Pero qué parte del cuerpo es esa? Perdón, no entendí. Okay, okay. Yo, di yo dije, excuse me, Jose. Uh, men have, we have chest. Yeah, we have chest. Women have breast. Understand? Yes, teacher. Okay, los, los hombres no. tenemos pecho, ¿verdad? Le decimos chest. A las mujeres se les dice breast. Understand? Yes, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, good. Any other question? Okay, aquí. Eh, then we have eyelashes. Aquí hay partes. We try to say some other words like eyelashes. We have eyelashes. These are your eyelashes. You see my face? This one are eyelashes. Yeah. This is your forehead. These are knuckles. Knuckles. Eyelid. Eyelid is this part of, of the eye. This is mm -hmm. your eyelid. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, one uh, in, in one of these classes, I give me a hey, teacher, how do you say ojeras? And we say dark circles. Those are dark circles. And if you have this, those are dimples. Mm -hmm. These are dimples. Understand? Come on, answer. Yeah. Dimple. This is your eyebrow. Okay. Seja. Yeah. Okay. What are these? Ear. Ear. What are these? Hand. Hand. No. Hand. No, this Hand. one. This Finger. one. Fingers. 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 What's this? Elbow. Elbow. What are these? Shoulder. Shoulders. Okay, what's this? This part? Eyes. No, this? Chest. 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 Okay. All right. Let's continue. Teacher, teacher. Hello, hello. 
dentro de la frase que usted escribió, puso eyelashes. Esas Ay, eyelashes. No... Ajá. These ones. Oh. This one. Perdón, no, no tomé nota. Don't worry. Ah, esa, esa es, pero eso sería C. Eyelashes. No, this is eyebrow. Ah, perdón, pestaña es esa. Ajá. Ah, la otra que puso es, ah, forehead. Es forehead, forehead, yeah. This forehead. is your forehead. Perdón, estoy tomando nota. Ok, ok, ok. Y okay. la otra es, ah, uh, Knuckles. 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 These are uh, uh, these are my knuckles. Please. Yes. Y podemos enumerar muchas más, but we are only uh, studying the most common parts of the of the body. Okay. Okay, gracias. You're welcome. But if you have any questions about the parts of the body, no. Okay, let's go to another activity. All right, this is a conversation between Brian and Kenishi. Says, I feel homesick. What does homesick mean? Do you have an idea? Enfermo. Okay. Another idea? Tal vez que extraña su casa o algo así, su hogar. ¿Qué qué? I don't know. ¿Qué extraña? Yes, es su hogar. Ah. Okay. Oh. Good idea. I remember. Is um nostálgico. Nostálgico. That is the exact translation for that word. I feel homesick. Mm -hmm. I me siento nostálgico, right? Okay. So I'm gonna read this. I'm gonna send. Already send the conversation. I'm gonna send you the audio. Says, hey, Kenichi, how are you? Oh, I'm not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Ahora veamos. New words for you? No new words? ¿Todo está bien entonces? No. Ok, muy bien. Vamos, primero vamos a headache. Ok. I have a headache. He headache. 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 I have a headache. Veanme aquí ah. abajo en mi pantalla. Pueden leer eso. Ache. Ache. O sea, SH que está al final de G. G. Headache. Esa, esas, oh. esa, digamos, esas sílabas van a ser pronunciadas eight. Okay. ok. O sea, si yo digo dolor de espalda, voy a decir backache. 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 Ok. Si me duele, tengo dolor de dientes o de muela, toothache. Toothache. Eerie. Stomach ache. Ok. Así que cuando vea eso, ese sufijo, 
después de la parte del, de, después del, del nombre, la parte del cuerpo, y vea el sufijo H, digamos así, así como se, como se escribe, usted va a pronunciar EIC. Sí, o wow. eh, Luego está donde dice BAKE. ¿Qué significa BAKE? BAKE. Ese sufijo que le, que le agregamos es dolor. Dolor de la parte que se está mencionando ahí. En España. Mire. Headache. Oh, I have a headache. Got it? I have a headache. I have a, I have an earache. Oh, earache. I have a toothache. Ok. All right. Now, let's, let's see if we can practice the conversation. Todo, everything okay now? Yeah. Ok, aquí yeah. está lloviendo fuerte. No sé cómo, vamos a, cómo van a resultar los grupos. Si en caso no nos... Eh, no nos ayuda el internet, vamos a volver a la sala principal y vamos a practicar aquí, ¿ok? Let's check right now. Vamos a ver cómo nos sale la cosa. Practice the dialogue. Practice, yeah, practice the conversation, please. Ok. Teachers. Hello. Uh, cuando le di a aceptar, me sacó de la sesión. Tuve que volver a entrar. Vaya, ahorita, ahorita vamos a ver si la podemos agregar. Si no, eh, aquí vamos a practicar, ¿ok? Tiene dos. Okay. Ah, ok, muy bien. Me pasó lo mismo. Ah, ok. Ya me cago Henry solo. Ya, ya, ya le atiendo, ok. Permítame, no quiero arreglar algo. Voy a mandar a Henry a otro grupo. Ok, Verónica. Sí, teacher. Let's practice. Ok, teacher. I start. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? 
Oh, I'm not so good actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I had a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. For Japan? That's too bad. But maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at the new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel buried. Are you ready? Already. Okay. Thank you, Veronica. Very nice. Okay. Okay, Juana, let's practice. Los que no han podido entrar, aquí vamos a practicar. Ya se me, ya se me fue. Y estos chicos, ¿qué pasó? ¿Qué no? <clears throat> okay, now we are we're back. Okay, yeah, I'm waiting for the rest. Mm -hmm. Okay. Open your cameras, please. Just for a moment. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I stop my so finance. Teacher. Hello. En el grupo de WhatsApp hay dos eh, personas, compañeras que dicen que una la sacó y la otra no puede conectarse. Dice. Ah, ok. Ya vamos a ver ah, eso. Gracias. Eh, un, si tienen un... problemas de conexión, apaguen la cámara porque eso, eso, eso ayuda, ¿verdad? El video eh, <coughs> consume bastante, bastante señal. Ok. Smile, eh... please. Mm, ya bien, bien risueño. Teacher, eh, estoy viendo en el grupo de WhatsApp que dicen otros compañeros que alguno está enfermo de salud uh -huh. y otro o sea, está mal de salud y el otro es que solo va a escuchar y el otro está en el trabajo aún. Ok, muy bien. Ya le respondo. It's me. Ah, oh, it's you. You're sick, Henry. Oh, yeah. okay. You're yes, sick. I, yes, 
I have the flu. Ah, you got the flu. Um, sorry um, about that. I toothache. Ah, uh, 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 toothache. Toothache. Um. Okay, here we go again. A toothache. I got it. Ah, sore throat. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Ya, ya viene ese vocabulario. Ya viene ese vocabulario. Okay, let's continue with the class, my friends. And this is just what is happening to Henry. But we have a grammar structure. ¿Cuál es esa, esa estructura gramatical que vamos a aprender en este momento? So we are going to learn this grammar pattern. And if you see, we have have plus noun, and we have feel plus an adjective. Okay, veamos cómo es eso, mire. What's the matter? What's wrong? Understand those, those questions, right? What's the matter? What's wrong? O sea, ¿cuál es el problema? ¿Qué te pasa? What's the matter? Mire, I have a headache. O sea, eso... Estamos hablando de, I have a headache, I have a backache, I have the flu. I have a stomachache. I have a toothache. Mm. Y aquí tenemos abajo, mire. Okay, I want to say, I, I have an earache. Ya, aquí lo tenemos ya, ese, ese, ese vocabulario también, mire. Ahora vamos a, a tener que molestar a Henry, le vamos a decir, he has a toothache. Henry has a toothache. Ah, oh, teacher, pero yo observo que cuando habla de él, cambia el have, ¿a qué cambia? El, 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 a has. A has, ¿por qué? Porque estamos hablando de tercera persona, ¿ok? Una cosa es que yo diga, I have an earache. But. Bueno, voy a, voy a, no lo voy a poner así. But. She has an earache. Um, okay. Different. Cuando hablo de mi persona, o si le digo, you have an earache, pero cuando hablo de él o de ella, he or she has. Yeah. Okay. Understand that? Yeah. All right. No questions? Comprende mucho o comprende poquito? <laughs> Understand. Okay, you got it. Okay, ahora veamos la otra estructura. Digo, feel. I, how are you? How do you feel? I feel homesick. I feel better. I feel sick. I don't feel well. Eso es de cómo te sientes, ¿verdad? Cómo te sientes. Y ahora lo estamos relacionando con padecimientos y dolores, right? Got it? O sea, how do you, how do you feel? Excuse me? I'm in a pain. I'm, I'm trying to. Something is my pain. Ah, homesick. Uh -huh. No, homesick is just a feeling. You can say I feel tired. Mm, okay. Homesick, dijimos que era nostálgico, ¿verdad? It's just a feeling. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Mire, mm -hmm. on the next column, we have negative adjectives. Sick, 
awful, terrible, miserable. Positive adjectives, fine, gray, terrific, fantastic. So how do you feel today? How do you feel today? My day is great. Okay. Pero si usamos la estructura de I feel. I feel, I feel sick, teacher. I feel sick. No, pero, pero la pregunta es, how do you feel today? No, no, how was your day? Establezcamos la diferencia. Okay. It's how I feel myself. ¿Cómo me siento yo? El día, es otro, el, el día es otra cosa. Lo que pasó en el día es otra cosa. ¿Ok? Mm -hmm. All right. Ok, you can say, um, okay, uh, right. I feel terrible. Ok, but let's talk about this uh, vocabulary here. No, no hay más. Uh, no hay más. No, no more questions. Let's continue. Okay, then we have the first picture. We had, we have a backache. Try to repeat on your own, pero no me hablan el micrófono porque se nos va a escuchar un solo, verdad? Ahí eh, no se nos va a escuchar bien. Okay. A backache, a earache, a headache, a stomachache, a toothache. I'm going to send it. We have a backache, a earache, a headache, a stomachache, a toothache, a cold, a cough, a fever, the flu, sore eyes, a sore throat. Got it? Questions with pronunciation? Nobody answered because the second line needs to meet right now. Okay. The second line. Ah, that's you, Henry. A cold. Yes. A cough. A cold. A, a cold. fever. Oh. The flu, cough, cough. Aquí donde dice, esta es tos, ¿verdad? Tengo tos, una tos. O sea, cough. Esa GH se pronuncia yes, yes. F. Ahí tiene que son, sonar una F. Y la, okay. U, y la U es silenciosa. A cough. 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 A cough. Correcto. Ok. Good. This is, these are sore eyes. <coughs> ¿Es dolor de ojos? Sí, adolorido, sí. Or, eh, okay. a, so, a sore throat. Sort. Yeah, you sort have an inflama throat. inflammation. Okay, you feel... All right, so... When I say the, the pain, ustedes me van a... Me van a bueno, ok. Ahí ustedes me van, van a hacer la oración. Ok, vean el ejemplo. Digo, a backache. He has a backache. A earache. He has an earache. A headache. He has an earache. She, she has a she headache. She has a headache. A headache. A stomachache. He has a stomachache. Yes. A toothache. He has a toothache. A toothache, yes. A cold. Toothache. She has, he has a cold. A cold, very good. A cough. He has, he has a, a cough. A cold. A fever. He has a fever. Okay. The flu. See, she, she has the flu. Sore eyes. He has sore eyes. Yeah, a sore throat. 
He has a sore throat. Very good, very good, excellent. Okay, now let's see, we can practice more in another conversation. Y los que no puedan entrar se van a quedar conmigo practicando, all right? So, the name of the conversation is Don't Work Too Hard. It's Dr. John and Miss West. Hello, Miss West. How are you today? Not so good. So what's wrong exactly? I'm exhausted. Mm, why are you so tired? I don't know. I just can't sleep at night. Okay, let's take a look at you. I'm, go I'm gonna give you some pills. Take one pill every night after dinner. Okay. And don't drink coffee, tea, or soda. Anything else? Yes. Don't work too hard. All right. Registrar. Oh, también podemos utilizarlo para hacer una Okay, now let's go and work in the breakup rooms. Lo de la conversación haremos, ¿verdad? Please. Gracias. Let's work. No me uní a la sala uno.
Esto también es... Pues un... Ok, ¿de quiénes tenemos aquí afuera? Tengo a Isaac, Liliana, Juana. ¿Con quién practicamos? Okay, Isaac. No problem. Okay, welcome again. Okay, now let's talk about sentence intonation. ¿Se acuerdan de falling and rising intonation? No. Do you remember? No. No. Okay, ustedes ven esas esas flechas. ¿Sí la ven? Sí. Yeah. Okay, that is falling. That is falling intonation. When you mm -hmm. see those arrows going down, es que mi voz también va a bajar. Mi tono de voz va a bajar un poco. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you see rising intonation, mi voz se va a elevar un poco también. Mm -hmm. Okay, es, es una elevación moderada, no es un grito, right? Y tampoco es quedarse mudo cuando uno baja la entonación, okay? Así que decimos, take some aspirin, go to bed, use some muscle cream, don't drink coffee, Don't work too hard. Don't exercise this week. Escucha, ese es un tono natural. Mm -hmm. Ok. So, please, ahí con sus, con sus, voy a silenciar aquí, porque luego se nos escuchan ahí unos anuncios de Movistar de, y de todo, hay un montón de cosas que salen, ¿verdad? Y eso, pues, eh, nos quita ahí audio. All right. Así All que, right. please, close your mics and listen. Taste on aspirin. Repeat. Taste on aspirin. Go to bed. Use some muscle cream. Don't drink coffee. Don't work too hard. Don't exercise this week. Got it? 
No problem. Vamos a ver, y hoy vamos a, a ver alguna de las chicas que me quiera repetir las primeras tres, la primera columna, please. I need a girl here who can repeat the three first I mean, sentences. Take some aspirin. Uh -huh. And don't drink coffee. Go to, go to bed. Don't work too hard. Mm -hmm. Use some muscle cream and don't exercise this week. Okay, thank you. En la palabra muscle, okay, muscle, la C, no hay, no hay pronunciación para la C ni para la letra E, okay? Esas son silent letters. Así que decimos muscle, muscle cream, okay? Muscle cream. Muscle cream. Muscle cream. Muscle, muscle. Muscle cream. Muscle cream. La última consonante que suena es una L. Ok. okay. Muscle. Muscle. Como cuando muscle decimos, cream. how do you say castillo? Castle. 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 Muscle. Ok. Now I need another, another, another girl who can repeat the sentences. Hoy le vamos a dar el poder de la voz a las chicas. Okay, vamos a ver, Jacqueline. Take some aspirin, go to bed, use some muscle cream, and don't drink coffee, don't work too hard, and don't exercise this week. This week. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Vamos con otra chica. Ajá. Zombi pena. Take some aspirin. Mm -hmm. Go to bed. Use some mozo. Tiu. Tiu. Don't you... drink. Uh -huh. You drink coffee. Don't work too, too hard. Do, do not exercise this week. Okay. Don't. Don't. No. Don't. Don't. Don't exercise. Don't okay. Exercise. Thank you. So take some aspirin. Go to bed. Use some muscle cream. Don't drink coffee, don't work too hard, and don't exercise this week. All right? Hemos escuchado a nuestras compañeras. Congratulations. Now we're going to talk about imperatives. What are the imperatives for? Imperatives are to give instructions. Okay? Pero voy a preguntar algo acá. ¿Qué ve en la estructura de esas instrucciones? ¿Le hace falta algo que llevaría una oración simple? Subject. Correctamente. No tiene sujeto. El modo imperativo no lleva sujeto. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué? Porque es una indicación, es una instrucción. Y las instrucciones no llevan sujeto. ¿Ok? If you buy medicine, y usted mira, ahí, ¿verdad? Las instrucciones no llevan sujeto. Dice, drink a pill every eight hours. Ahí muere. Eh, compra un electrodoméstico instruction in English ensemble this part A with part B no lleva sujeto 
¿Ok? Así es. All right. Así que let's, let's take a look. Take a pill every four hours. Observe. Rest in bed. Drink lots of juice. Puras instrucciones. Como cuando su doctor le está dando instrucciones. All right. Don't work too hard. Don't stay up late. Don't drink soda. Understand el modo imperativo? Got it? Okay. Yeah. It's, it's fácil de comprender el modo imperativo, all right? But uh, I need you to write Complete these sentences, use the correct forms of the words in the box. Mira, we have two examples. Call a dentist. Don't worry too much. No sé qué, qué van a escribir acá. Okay. Ah, ok, thank you, Joao. Ya nos hizo, ya nos hizo la tercera, Joao. Entonces, take two aspirin. Continue, please. Write it on the chat. Mándemelo al chat, por favor. Can yeah, we check check number one? Vamos a usar el don't. Okay, don't. Observe el cuadrito de arriba, por favor. Observe el ejemplo también. Dice, don't worry. Okay, okay, sí. Yes. Okay, okay, good. It's don't go to school. Excellent. That's yes. the way. That's the way, Henry. Okay, Jacqueline. Don't go to school. Listen to relaxing music. See a doctor. Don't drink coffee. Don't eat any candy. Excellent. Thank you.
All right. Okay, uh, let me see the thing is. Veronica. They are good. They mm -hmm. are good. But, excuse me, Jose. Eh, están bien, but use the contractions, please. Okay? Use las abreviaciones. Yes, Jose. Don't call, uh, don't call a doctor the number six, no. Okay, my friends, we're going to stop right now because it's raining. Here it's raining a lot. Thank you. Eat the Melissa S as a ton drinks. All right, Maria Carmen, thank you. I'm going to call the attendance. I'm gonna call the attendance, okay? Yeah. Open your cameras, just one more shot. Don't Así eat. rapidito, por favor. Yes, yes. Don't eat. De una vez ya con la sonrisa, ya, ya rapidito, okay? <laughs> Eso. Don't <laughs> eat. Aromatically, aromatically smiling. <laughs> don't, don't eat. Don't eat any candy. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Ahí estamos. Don't go. Las vacaciones nos esperan. Ok, one more shot and then I call the attendance. Don't go to relaxing music. No, listen to relaxing music. Es listen. No, listen to relaxing hey. music. ¿Ya? Okay, I'm going eat to eat any candy. Don't don't eat any candies. Así es, correcto. Yeah, then uh, number eight. No, no uh, drink coffee. Number five. Don't go. Don't go to don't... school. Okay. Then I will take uh, Here we go, Alba Iris. Don't worry to relax. Listen. Thank you, Andrea Marcela. Hey, yeah, una ocho. La nueve. Yes, Andrea Marcela. No está Andrea Marcela, okay. Sí, ahí está Andrea Marcela. ¿Está? Sí. Ok, thank you. Damari Lisset. Ah, I'm here. Thank you. Eduardo Enrique. Fátima Esmeralda. Parece ser que ella tuvo problemas de señal. Francisco Armando. Fátima también está. Sí. Francisco Armando. Thank you. Giovanni López. Present teacher. Thank you. Henry. Present teacher. Thank you. Isaac también. Ahí venía de camino. I'm here. Okay. Thank you. Jacqueline Vanessa. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Joao. Here, teacher. Thank you. Jose Herrera. Present teacher. Thank you. Juana, también está. 
aquí, ¿verdad, Juana? Ya la sacó otra vez. Ok, Judy también la sacó de la, de la, de la plataforma. Liliana Vigail. Present teacher. Thank you. Linda Hazel, también la vi conectada. Mm, también está. María del Carmen, también la vi por ahí. Estuvo en mi grupo. Ok, thank you. Miriam Marisela. Present. Thank you. Roberto Carlos. Ya no apareció después de su último concierto. Rusa mm -hmm. Vigail, también está por ahí. Stephanie Yamilet. No vino la cipota, ¿verdad? No la vi, no la vi. Tatiana Emilia. Ok. Y Verónica Tatiana, ella sí. Con ella hasta practicamos. Verónica Tatiana. Ok, my friends. Llegó la hora chimenguenchona. <risa> Contenta. Have a nice vacation, teacher. It's time to say have a nice, uh, happy holidays. Enjoy your time with your family. Eat elotes locos. Están caros, dicen los <laughs> dólares. Mejor, mejor compre usted y los hace. ¿verdad? Le va a salir más barato y más rico y saludable, ¿verdad? Puede enfermarse también, ¿ok? Así que. Yo. Si compran, me traen uno. Excelente. <laughs> Muy bien. Así que, pues. Eh, Happy holidays and see you next Monday. 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 Next Monday. Monday. Until, Monday. Ma until next Monday. <laughs> Good night. Okay. Goodbye. Good night. Good night, Good night teacher. Good night, Thanks. everybody. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. A repasar los tocas.